Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 85 rated Man of the Match Fernandez. So if you do want to go and pick up this card, you will have to pay between 10,500 to 100,000 coins. And looking at the card you are getting for that price, it's absolutely incredible. You know, a really good, well-rounded card with some light greens and some dark greens all around the board. So now getting into Fernandez's pros and cons, the first pro I could find on this card was his acceleration. Now Fernandez, he does have decent sprint speed, but his acceleration is what makes him rapid in my opinion. Um, even though when his face card stat, he does only have 84 pace, he actually has 88 acceleration, so he's really, really rapid. And this is really helpful, especially, you know, um, looking at his card, 84 pace, you know, you don't really think it's too good, especially for a winger this year. Um, for the majority of matches, I actually played this guy in centre mid and cam. Um, I did also try him in the left forward position, and I found him fine in that position um, at first I was a bit worried you know I thought you know his pace would be a bit too low but because his acceleration is so so good um, he feels much faster than 84 pace so the next pro after his acceleration I could find was his passing now this guy long range short range um, you know he just has a big variety of passing and um, just you know really really clinical as well when passing and very very accurate um, so yeah, this guy is definitely really good as a centre mid, that's why I'd probably recommend to play him um, as a wide centre mid, maybe, you know, the 4-3-3 um, formation, you know, I feel if you're going to play him as a cam, he is really good there, but he doesn't really get involved too much in the play, and especially because of his medium low work rates, while I don't really think it's too much of a con, I just feel like it does affect his positioning a bit if you do play, in the ca play him in the cam position, I think he drops a little bit too deep, so I would recommend to play him in the centre mid position as a wide centre mid, I think that's why this guy works best. And then moving over to his final pro, what probably is the biggest selling point for this card, and that is this guy's long shots. As you can see, he's got 92 long shots, 93 shot power, which is absolutely crazy. And you can definitely feel that in game, as you saw from the first goal, we scored a mad rainbow flick from about 30 40 yards out, which is honestly incredible. So, yeah, one of the best goals um, long distance wise I've scored this FIFA. And as well, he's also very clinical, he has 80 finishing in game. <laughs> So now moving on to the overview, I'm going to give him a value of coins of 10 out of 10 just because I feel like the stats you are getting on the card for the price is absolutely incredible. Then enjoyment, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Um, it was a really enjoyable card to use and is really cheap as well so you don't need to really worry about his price dropping at all um, unless you're an idiot like me and just buy him the minute it comes out. So competitiveness wise, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Scaling wise, a 7 out of 10 and an overall rating of a solid 8.5 out of 10. So if you're on a tight budget and you want to use competitive players or a player with some really good stats for a cheap price, I'll definitely recommend to go and pick up Manuel Fernandez. So guys, if you have enjoyed this player review and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel, don't forget to leave a like on the video and tell me in the comment section below who you want me to review next. Thanks for watching and see you next time.